Hello everybody and welcome to, I believe this is probably what I'm going to call my April haul. Um, I have everything pretty much that I purchased in the month of April. It doesn't look like a lot, but it was a lot of wax this month, which I will explain in a minute. I only have two like planner related things. So I have stuff to show you today in this haul from the Honeybee Shop. This is my babe box for maybe April, maybe March. Oh no, April, definitely April. I have an order from Once More With Love, and then I have stuff from Nerdy Wax Company, Birdies Making Sense, L3 Waxy Wonders, and To The Moon and Back Creations. I pulled like one of everything kind of, uh, cause obviously this is not all it. So let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and get started with the planner stuff first. Uh, so that way if you're not super interested in wax, you can just watch that and be done. But I think you guys should watch this because like I'm super interested in wax. So I hope you guys are too. But anyway, let's just get into everything. Okay, so I turned my light back down a little bit because I had it um, facing upwards so there wasn't like too much of a glare, but then it was kind of dark, you know? So I was like, let me face that back down. But anyway, the first thing I'm actually gonna show you is usually the thing I show you last, but because it's like the biggest planner item I have this month, it is my Babe Box subscription from the Honey Bee Shop. I like, I don't know what it was this month, but I was just not really feeling like ordering a lot of planner stuff. Maybe a lot of, not, a lot of stuff wasn't really released. Um, and I was just kind of like, you know what? I'm super into wax again and I just want to keep purchasing more wax. So that's mostly where my money went this month, but I still got my subscription, which I'm very excited about. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I actually have been sitting on this subscription for... It has been like two or three weeks and I haven't even opened it, you guys. I've seen all the sneaks and everything, but I was like, I'm going to wait. I'm going to open it on camera. It's gonna be exciting, so let's go ahead and open it. I believe this was the Pastel Dreams Babe box. I love these little envelopes so much. They're so cute. Okay, I just saved them. I don't know why, I just really like them. Let me put this one over here. Okay, so like I said, this was like the Pastel Dreams Babe box. Super, super cute. I'll just start from the top. So, let me turn this. So these are the vinyl die cuts. Oh, I love like the hollow foil. I love these die cuts a lot because you get an absolute butt ton of these. And like I can put them on my dashboards. I can save them for like letters and stuff. They're just really cute. So they're all like hollow foiled. Oh, I just love the pastel colors. They're so pretty. I love these a little tea and I like that you get a lot of different sizes different colorways like these little these are like little tokens so cute there's a bunch of those ah I'm dropping everything anyway you got a bunch of pens those were probably all stacked on top of each other but like they're the same colorways which is so cute some of these like foiled rainbows oh my gosh more foiled rainbows Look at these like little conversations. That's so cute. I'm just really obsessed with these. Oh, daily. I love this. Oh, I've been thinking about getting like a personal size planner, which is so funny because like <laughs> I never use a planner really anymore other than my memory planner. Um, but I was just like, I just want to decorate it, you know, <laughs> notes weekly, monthly. Like these are just so pretty. Oh, I love that. The little makeup. That is so cute. And then these girls are just, oh my God. So cute, obsessed with them. And then here's the other skin tones of that first one. So this is the vinyl die cut pack. Like I said, I'm just obsessed with these. I put these on my dashboards. I save them for like letters and stuff as seals. I mean, some of them are kind of large, but like the small little pen ones are really cute, but that is that. And then this is actually the Pastel Dreams card. So like, thank you so much for subscribing. What is inside? And then the other side is like a foil journaling card, which is super cute. You have two washi tapes here. They're 13 millimeters. That's such a random size. Um, date header washi, which is this. It's clear foiled or clear with hollow foiled. And then this is clear days. Am I crazy? Are these perforated? I think this top one is perforated as well. Yes. So like this is like the date covers and then these are the days. Yes, that makes sense. Oh, that's really cute. I like that idea a lot. So that would actually be really nice if you used the stickers like as a kit um, that came with the entire thing. And then you have this foiled journaling card here. Again, double sided. I'm going to keep that turned over. This, oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is um, a jelly bow clip. Oh my god. Oh. This is so cute. Hold on, stop. I like want to put this in my planner. Look how cute that is. 
That is like way cuter than I anticipated. Mine has like a little bit of extra plastic on it, but that's okay. This is so cute, and I really like the little um, little like dashboard it comes on. I don't need that, but that is so cute. I really love that. And then this is a pack of stickers. These are doodle stickers is what she has them as. Oh, oh my god, these are so cute. I could add these to like my character sticker collection. So these are like little book bags with um, like wings on them. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry if you can't see that. Really cute. This one is like the little tea, the cat tea. And then this is the foil rainbows. And what do they say? You got this. Is that heck yeah? That's cute. And you got this. Oh my god, those are so cute. And like actually really good sizes. It's like for character stickers, you know? These are cute. I don't need this either because I'm just going to put them in my character sticker organization. So that's really cute. And then here's the sticker book, which is like another one of my like absolute favorite things that you get in these bait boxes. It's just so cool. So this is the Pastel Dreams sticker book. 465 stickers inside. Oh, look at this. You get like a full box, a checklist, a weekly checklist, some headers. Are these like... Oh, God, those are so cute. They look like 3D-ish, like cut out uh, quarter boxes, a half box, a label, some like icons, some fun like functional icons, I guess, some flags, hexagons, teardrops, uh, star checklist flags, some of these like functional stickers as well as like emotions and then like a habit tracker. So you have it in pink and in orange, like that pastel orange is so pretty, like dreamsicle color. This yellow, oh, mine has like a line through it. Oh, it's probably supposed to, that's really cute. Oh, this is like moons. Was the other thing something different? Stars still. And then the mint. Ooh, that's really pretty. I love that. Oh, I love blue. This is so pretty. And then here's the purple. Oh, these are also cute. I love that, how it's like off-centered. And then in the back here, oh, you have some cute little cloud, uh, like date cover-esque things, like the uh, months, some date numbers here, and some blank ones. These are foldable, which is really cute. You got this, heck yeah. These are all cut out, I'm pretty sure, yeah. And then some more of those rainbows. Again, these could be used as seals for like envelopes and stuff. The little pens are absolutely adorable. And then here are the girls. I always look forward to these the little conversations. And that is the sticker book. Again, I just, I just love the sticker book. Um, and then this is an acrylic clip tower. Wait, hold on, let me see. I'm confused about this. I feel like I might have to watch the video on this one because I don't, or like the Instagram video or whatever because I just want to make sure I 100% know how to make that. But that is the acrylic clip tower. This is, I didn't see this anywhere. What is this? Um, 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 a foiled sticker album, what? <gasps> Do these fit her little stickers? Stop, that's so cute. Oh, here's part of the clip tower, I think actually. Yeah, this is the second half. So that's the base. And then this is, I'll put it together in one second. Sorry. Is it raining again? My goodness, it was raining earlier and I think it, it stopped for a little bit. So hopefully it like chills out for a second. But look at this little album. So cute. Oh, I love this. This is like such a cute little size for character stickers. And you could easily just fit one of hers. Where does it go? Oh, it goes on the side. One of her little sticker sheets in here. <gasps> That is so stinking cute. I would probably use this, well, maybe not for foil because I have quite a bit of foil. Actually, that's a lot. I could totally use this for foil, like um, like quote box overlays and like <gasps> scripts and stuff that fit in this because my SPC scripts are obviously like skinny and these, these would be perfect for like quarter size sheets. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. This is so cute. Okay, so then this is the acrylic clip tower, which like, come on, Kirsten. I didn't use my brain too much on that one, but it's okay. Y'all hear that? It's like really raining. Hold on, I'm gonna put this together and then I need to change my battery because my camera is about to die. So I'm assuming it just, yeah, it goes in here. Right? Nope, other way? Yeah, it goes in this, this way. Duh. I think I have to snap it in a little bit harder, but this is realistically what it would look like. And then you can just hang your clips on it, which is really, really cute. And actually I have my washi tower right here too. I don't have washi on it yet, but because it's just cute. But that is actually adorable. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, I'm gonna go change my battery. I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully I'm not zoomed in like too far, but anyway. So the last stuff I have are the papers. Oh, 
I'm just so obsessed with this, you guys. This is just so fun for me. It's like, not just like a planner person's like thing, but like a crafty person. Hold on, let me open this. Or like somebody that's into like, I don't know, like being crafty and like fun and just like creative. These are just so cute. So anyway, this, oh my God, this is an acetate. <gasps> Stop, this rainbow acetate, that is so pretty. So you have a rainbow acetate, this like white cloud vellum, which actually could go really well in my setup right now. <gasps> I love this white cloud. Okay, and then you have these papers here, which are double-sided. So this side is like the bunny, kind of like Sailor Moon-esque. And then you have like the rainbows, which are so pretty. And then you have blue rainbows with, hello. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, okay, duh. <laughs> Sorry. This, which I actually love that. I want to find something creative to do with that because that's really cute. And then this one is the clouds with like the rainbow background and then the rainbow in the clouds. So that was my Pastel Dreams babe box from the Honey Bee Shop. Seriously, you guys, like this is so cute. And she brings the extras back to shop. So definitely just like go download the app because the app is so cool. You can shop on your phone. It's like so much more convenient than shopping through a website. Anyway, so that was my Babe, Bops, Babe Box subscription. Okay, next, I have an order from Once More With Love that I actually just got yesterday, which is super exciting. And she just had new releases today or yesterday too, but I haven't ordered yet because I'm waiting to build up my cart. But all I did with this order was I pulled out my invoice and we can go through everything together. I'm very excited. So first things first, this is the journaling card that I got. I didn't even look at it. This is so cute. As long as you live, keep learning how to live. What? This is so cute. And then you have a sweet little note on the back from Marg, which is just, mm, she's just so kind. I love that. And then here's the little freebie, which when I saw this, I like screamed a little bit. One, because Bob Ross, and two, because I showed Brian this and he didn't get it at first. He was like, it says duck. And I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> so cute. You have the little fragile, little sad dino, and then like a destination, I suppose. This is so cute. This is a little April freebie. So I'll go through my order. So I did, oh, focus for me, hi. <laughs> Sorry. So I did go ahead and repurchase the You've Got a Friend in Me sheet when I did the um, Toy Story kit last year for like Christmas time. I used a lot of these stickers. I had hardly any left. So I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and repurchase this. The rain is getting louder. <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and repurchase this just so I have it because I need to have all the Disney sheets, you know? I also repurchased the couch potato sheet. I actually grabbed three of them because I flew through these because y'all know I love to watch some TV shows. So grabbed three of them because I flew through that sheet. Okay, and I believe all the rest of these were like new-ish releases. So this first one is Crybaby, which I used the like Heartbreak and Heartbreak 2.0 munchkins a ton. And I just thought these were perfect. I also really like the like crying with the arms because like same. And also just like, you know, that could be like a happy cry, you know? So the Crybaby works. Then I got the Not Today. <laughs> I just thought this was so funny. I also really like this one. It's just so cute. Oh, it stopped raining. As fast as it came on, it went away. So anyway, I got that sheet. I got the just do it, cause like this is just good motivation for when, you know, people like me procrastinate. I've been procrastinating all day today. Um, the DND, which is do not disturb, which is so cute. I love a little face mask. Cozy, and I like that it says cozy. Typically I don't like when there's words next to my like character stickers, but I think that one's really, really cute. The late AF, which is me, like right now actually. It is almost 11 o'clock at night and I don't know why I'm still awake. So late AF, best day ever, so cute. I love this one. And then she did like a whole cat release. The only one I got was the cat doodles because like I love the cat, but that's my cat Millie so much. Like she literally like will try and cuddle with you and the second you're like, oh yes, I'll cuddle you. She turns around and puts her butt in your face and it's like, come on cat, like, come on. But I got the cat doodles cause they're super cute and I have two cats. So that was my order from Once More With Love. All right, so next I have a bunch of wax. Like I said, I went through a phase where I was buying a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of wax. And then I slowly started to stop because we started our own shop. We started making wax ourselves and I had a ton. But then I've slowly, well, I wouldn't even say slowly. I would say like pretty fast. I've gotten 
really hardcore into like watching wax videos and so I've been finding a lot of new shops and I love supporting everybody like I, I don't want to be the person that like doesn't support other people so and then also Planet Hannah uploaded a three hour long haul and like 95% of it was wax and just she influenced me so hard so I have a lot of stuff to show you so i'll start with like i'll just go in the order that it came into me i think that might be the easiest option okay, so the first thing i have here is a box from birdies making sense and i wanted to show you because it came, well this actually looks terrible it came like packaged so cute but i just like tore it apart but i just wanted to show you the box to start she does send like a really cute long note about like her wax and how to clean up the wax and everything about that which i thought was really helpful along with your invoice which i'll just put aside because i don't need those currently and then i have my order which is like not a lot because she had a release at like 11 my time and i completely spaced it i set an alarm and everything and when the alarm went off i was like i don't even know what this is for i didn't make like a label for it and then at 11 30 i was like oh snap birdies and so when i got on a lot of the stuff i wanted to get was unfortunately sold out but i was able to get a couple of things to try and i'm very excited about that so i'll start with the freebies first which like this is so cute i love this so these are the freebies i have glitter on me from my own wax okay so in this little bag you get her little business card your purchase made my day like this is why i like buying from small businesses y'all this is so cute um, so she does like snack, dessert, and food themed wax melts and they're, sh you guys, they're shaped so cool. You guys are about to see. But first things first, she sent three freebies, which is like incredibly generous. I don't know what I'm doing with all of this stuff. I guess I'll just make a pile on the floor. So the first thing here is, and like all of them have cute little like, uh, so cute. Anyway, so this is orange blossom and clean cotton. And her wax is really soft but look how pretty this is like it's already melting in my hand but this actually smells really good i'm always scared i'm going to hate orange scented stuff and then we did our orange dreamsicle scent for tigger and i really loved it so i was like maybe i should give citrus a try but i haven't really bought too much citrus yet but this was obviously a freebie and i really like this i think this would actually smell really good in the kitchen so really stoked about that this one is lemon curd and blueberry muffin it's shaped like a little like paw print let's see i don't want to like pull everything out but like you guys have to see they're so cute i don't really get the blueberry i feel like lemon is such an overpowering scent though so whenever you try to mix it with anything it can be kind of difficult but i do think that smells really good because i do like the way lemon smells and then this is so cute this is called Gimme S'more. I'm like running out of breath already. Uh, Gimme S'more, Hansel and Gretel. I don't know what that means. It might, it might be one of her scents, like her scent concoctions. Co plus Coffee Addiction plus Count Chocula. And it's like this little s'more mouse. So cute. Let me see. Mmm. So this definitely just smells like coffee to me, like a good coffee smell. I don't mind it at all. It smells really good. So like every single one of those freebies was like pretty delicious. Can't wait to add those to my stash. Okay, so I got three of her wax melts because pretty much everything that I had I had wanted was sold out, but that's okay because she's having another release soon. <laughs> so, like, first of all, just look at these. What? How are these wax melts? These are so cool. Like, this is just I just I don't understand. Um, she is having another release May 14th, so check out her shop. I'll link it down below and just favorite it because you'll be able to see her releases, but like obsessed. So this is called Slice Slice Baby. I believe all of these you got to choose between two different scent options i think um so i went with blackberry jam and zucchini bread oh my god it's a slice of freaking pizza look at this i don't even how am i supposed to what it's melting in my hand look how pretty this is. this is so cute and it smells really nice i really like the way that one smells i think that's actually going to be a good bedroom scent which unfortunately i moved my wax warmer that was in here to our bedroom because i'm gonna get a different one for in here so i'm not melting anything right now but i think this would be good in the office but i'll probably put it in my bedroom but this is the little pizza one which is like come on that's so cute okay okay this next one is shaped like a french baguette like what <laughs> this is called another one bites the crust and i picked cinnamon roll with icing plus buttery brown sugar and a hint of french baguette I don't know why I pulled them all out, but I just like, I need you guys to see these because they're so cool. <laughs> Look at that. Mm, that smells really good. Definitely smells like a cinnamon roll. 
I don't smell I don't I don't smell the French baguette at all. It says a hint though, so that's totally fine. But it smells amazing. I really like this scent combination. That's a good one. Love that. Okay, and then last but not least, right? Yes. Oh, she also did send um some cotton balls, which is like so nice. If I didn't have a silicone dish, this would be perfect. I might even just save this. And then as well as some some little treats, which I've hid from Avery. Typically when I get treats like this, I just toss them over to Avery, but I saved these because like I love Kit Kats. So I was like, I'm saving these. Okay. And then the last scent I got, oh, and she also sent, I'm sorry guys, a pencil. Hold on, I'm getting it. A little pencil. So cute. Okay. I'm gonna put the box on the floor. Okay, so this was the last scent. Everything was packaged like this because obviously she doesn't like want these to break because they're done so beautifully. But this was the last scent and unfortunately I don't really like it. I might see, if, I have a lot of, thank God, a lot of like wax loving people in my life, <laughs> clearly. Um, so if someone else, you know, wants this, they can totally have it. So this is shaped like a funnel cake, first of all. So cute. But the scent, there was again two options. And I went with this one because I thought I would like it. But you know how it is. Like, not everyone's going to love every scent. So this is definitely not one I enjoy. It is caramel apple and kettle corn. I'm going to smell it for the sake of the video. Ugh, but it is just not good. It's just not my jam at all. It's so, like, it's potent too. Like, I know I would put this in my melter and it would be, it would have, like, the best throw and I just wouldn't be able to handle it. So I'm going to see if anybody in my life wants to try this one because I'm just... Not the biggest fan, but that is A-OK, -okay, and that was my order from Birdie's Making Sense. I have my very first order from To The Moon and Back Creations, which also, of course, is wax melts. I don't know why I said that. You guys know this entire portion is wax melts. Um, so I was super excited to order from this shop. I have heard, again, nothing but great things. So I was on their Etsy shop, and I was just browsing, and I was putting so much in my cart, and I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> like, I can't do this. So what I ended up doing was purchasing their Mystery Wax Melt set, um, which is four random snap bars like they choose them and I thought that would be a good idea like a good way to get to know the shop I think that's a good idea for like any shop if they offer any sort of grab bag We do that too just because like I feel like it's a good way to get to know the shop get to know what scents you like from them What scents you don't like and it's pretty helpful. So that's what I went ahead and purchased. I did get this little freebie as well this is in English garden, which is lilac lilies vanilla pear rose carnation greenery and jasmine and it's a cute little orange color here. Let's see. It smells like grass, which like I don't mind at all. I actually really like the way grass smells. You get a little bit of floral, but I honestly think this would be good in a bathroom. I don't know why. I just think it smells like good for a bathroom. So glad I got this little freebie. It's definitely good enough for a bathroom for two uses, which is nice. And then again, this is my mystery wax melt little like grab bag set that, that was put together so let's get all of these out let me throw that away um so these are the four wax melts these colors are really pretty okay so i'll just start from the top or no i'll start from the bottom and make my way to the top okay yeah we'll do that so this first one here is s lewis i don't know what this is in reference to so please let me know if you know but these scent notes are sandalwood and vanilla and it's this like black snap bar with some like red glitter which is so pretty Okay, let's see. I'm gonna pull them out just so you can see a little bit. I feel like I'm like sniffing like a chocolate bar. This one is very like ma like masculine manly to me. Definitely the sandalwood. It's not my favorite, but it's also not bad. Like I don't like have like a huge distaste for it. It's definitely something that I'm gonna see if Brian wants to melt in his office. If not, I'll definitely just pass it along, but um, it's like very masculine. It's still pretty good. Oh my gosh, I have to cough. <clears throat> excuse me the next one is teen dean which i think is supernatural supernatural is on my list of shows to watch but i believe this is from supernatural this is chocolate brown sugar and marshmallow and this one's really cool look at this one eh. it's like look at the colors on that so it's like brown oh geez i'm sorry with like that blue is so striking i love it and the red yeah this definitely smells like chocolate I like some chocolate scents, but I think this like chocolate and marshmallow combo is not my jam. Again, I'll see if Brian wants it. If not, I'll just pass it along, but that's totally fine. It's not terrible. Okay, this next one is called Breakfast with Pappy, which like, I think this one, I also have Tea Time with Grammy is like her grandparents, which is like so cute. Um, but anyway, this is Fruity Cereal and Nostalgia. Cannot go wrong with this one. Mine came pre-snapped, but like, 
totally fine because I'm just gonna melt it anyway, you know what I mean? So let's get this one open. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I've been talking all day, you guys. It's this like pretty green color. But yes, your your basic average cereal scent. This one is like all over the place. You cannot go wrong with this one. Love this one. We'll definitely be melting that one. And then this last one is Tea Time with Grammy, which is black tea and fruity cakes. And this one is pink. I'm losing my voice, you guys. We were watching <clears throat> an Austin FC game tonight and I screamed during every single one. I cannot get this open. What the heck? Here we go. So this one, oh, this one's again pre-snap, but this one's super pretty. Look at this one. Pink with like all those sparkles. Oh my God, that is so good. I really love that. And see, this is why I like these mystery wax melt sets because yeah, I wasn't like the biggest fan of two of them, but I would have never purchased a black tea and fruity cake scent. I just wouldn't have. Like it wouldn't have been something that I would have been like, oh, that smells great. But this smells so good. I really like this one. I would actually melt this when we go to sleep. So nice. So that was my very first order from To The Moon and Back Creations. All right, so my next order is from Nerdy Wax Company. They did like a Disney World Parks kind of collection and I was super stoked on it. So I went ahead and grabbed all of the things that I thought I would love. It was packaged super cute again, but like I just keep everything in my box because like I'm a mess when I bring stuff upstairs, but I'm excited to go through everything with you. Okay, first and foremost, you got one of these lollipops, which 100% is from Disney World. And I, like I said, I typically give the snacks to Avery immediately, but I hid this one because I was like, I want this. I love the Disney stuff. I love the Disney treats. Like, even though this is just a basic average Disney lollipop, it's a Disney lollipop. You know what I mean? So I'm saving that for myself, putting that to the side. And now we can go ahead and get in. So the first thing is one of the freebies. I think if you ordered from any of these things, you got this. So this is like a small shot cup. It is Mickey's chocolate ice cream bucket. I have a hair attached to it. Chocolate ice cream bucket, which looks like this. Really cute. I love the color of the sprinkles. They're like a, a jewel tone. Again, I don't know what it is. Just like not the biggest fan of this chocolate scent at all, but I might save this and like melt this in Avery's room because I feel like she would totally love that. So that was the little freebie. Should I start with my favorite thing? I will. Okay. So this like is my favorite thing ever and I need to melt it a little bit just to see if the throw is good because they still have some available in shop and if it has like a good throw, I'm gonna probably buy a few more. So this is the Pirates of the Caribbean. I also have one of the Pirates of the Caribbean scents or like inspired scents from American Made Wax Co. when she did the big bundle, but I refuse to melt it because I'm scared it's gonna run out because it's my favorite smell ever. So this is our version of that rose water ride smell. Oh, this is so cute. It's a cute little bag of a bunch of different shapes and some brittle. Um, this smells just like, oh, so good. I've looked up so many times like what they use at Disney for that smell and it says brom bromine or bromine and I'm like, oh, it just smells so good. Uh, I just wanna bathe in it, honestly. So love this. Again, I'm gonna melt it to see how good the throw is, how long it lasts and everything. And then I'll make my decision on whether or not I wanna purchase like 10 more cause I may or may not have 10 in my cart right now just waiting for me to check out. So love that. This is just mm, fantastic. Okay, and then this one is so Super cute. I saw this in their picture and I died because I love this. So this is the Pixar Pop-Tart, which you can get at Woody's Toy Box. Isn't it Woody's Toy Box or Andy's Toy Box? I don't remember. And um, Hollywood Studios. But it's pastry dough, berry filling, and a kick of lemon. And it looks just like a little Pop-Tart and a snack bar version. Like that is so stinking cute. So what was it again? Pastry dough, berry filling, and kick of lemon. Sorry, I forgot. Mmm. Once again, lemon is super overpowering, but not in this one. So I can smell the berry, which is pretty nice. I like that mix. So this smells really good. Ugh. Again, I kind of want to melt it, but I also don't. Like maybe I'll just cut this bottom end off because it's just so dang cute. So this is the Pixar Pop-Tart. Okay, and then this next one, I low-key don't even think I read the description on the scent. I just got it, oh sorry, because this was Avery's literal favorite ride the last time I we went to Disney, and I just wanted to show her. <laughs> so this is the Alien Swirling Saucer. It is blood oranges, coconut milk, and orange juice, which actually doesn't sound terrible. It's a cute little shot cup with a little alien. I love this. Mm. Very citrusy. I actually really like that a lot. That smells really good. This would be really nice in a kitchen or a bathroom. 
Love that. Okay, and then I got this one because this just sounded cool because it's color changing. How cute is that? These are so teeny. Um, so this is Cinderella's Castle, strawberry, raspberry, and sugar cane with a hint of spun sugar. It sounds like cotton candy. Hmm. <laughs> it's a very light scent. I think I'm going to like it more so for the color changing aspect, but it's super cute. I really love that. Okay, and then the last thing is this, which again, I just wanted them because they were cute, which is probably not a great reason to order things, but like... I'm gonna melt it anyway. So this is this is it's a small world, which is saltwater taffy and a soft splash of ride water. Does small world have a smell? I mean, I'm sure it does. I just don't remember. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's sweet. I like that one a lot too. I like all of these. I like didn't hate any of these. These were all really good. So that was my my order from Nerdy Wax Company. Okay, and then this last wax shop I have stuff to show you from. I oh I. Just, I'm honestly speechless. I've seen so many hauls of L3 Waxy Wonders. And I'm like, that sounds good. But I don't, like, I get the hype. But I want to get the hype. You know what I mean? So she had, like, a pop-up. And I ordered from the shop. You guys. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Okay, so first and foremost, I ordered initially through the pre-order, which has not shipped yet. Which is totally fine, because it was a pre-order. And then she had this pop-up. And I was like... I guess let me buy some stuff because I like I actually want to physically get it and then she just recently had another pop up and I was like let me get some more so L3 is such a good wax melt shop you guys I'm so excited okay let me get everything out okay so here's my order from L3 my like first ever order that came physically, which I'm so excited. Um, I'm gonna get started with the freebies first. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, so obsessed. This is crazy. Okay, so again, super generous freebies. Dead. So this is a scoopable wax melt sample, which honestly, I don't really like scoopable wax melts, but will I give this a try? I might not scoop it. If it just pops out, I'm going to try and just pop it out. But this is in Sea Kelp Vetiver. Is that right? Vetiver? I hope so. It's really pretty mint green. Mm. Definitely smells like summer. Kind of smells like cucumbery. This would be a great, great bathroom scent. So I will definitely save that for the bathroom. This is in Sugared Apple. It's like in the shape of a little um, flower. This is okay. A little soft. Maybe it needs to cure a little bit more because it's a little bit soft. And then this is in Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. Again, just this cute little square. I love that. Mmm. Oh, this is nice. Definitely, hold on. It's weird because I was smelling this the other day and I could pick up the passion fruit, but today all I smell is the kiwi. That's so strange. Interesting. Still smells great though. I'm not mad at it. So those were the freebies, which again is super, super generous. I just add that to my wax melt pile okay i have stuff everywhere i'm so sorry so first i got two of her bitty betty loaves which okay so here's my like here's my thought process when i purchase a new scent from l3 i think i'm just gonna get like the smallest size possible whether it be like the bitty betty loaf the tarts, the bunts, the puppy packs, because they're like inexpensive and it's a good way I think to try a scent. But if I end up loving a scent, like a scent that I have over here, I'll show you in a second, I'm gonna get a big loaf of it for real. Cause like, oh my gosh, and her loaves are like massive. So I got two of these. The first one I got is called Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. It is Mountain Dew, Blue Raspberry, and Cherry Icy. Oh, I'm dead. And it comes in this cute little tin. Look how big this is, oh sorry. This is massive and this is just the bitty loaf too which is like so cute look at that so cute ah but now i have wax everywhere because i'm a dum dum but it's fine so what i say this is mountain dew and like two different types of slushies mm. Mm. this smells so good you can smell both slushies and the like pop of like fizzy mountain dew it's so funny because i've been sitting i have a mountain dew fragrance oil that i'm just sitting on because like i just i don't know <laughs> I don't know where it fits in with any of my themes quite yet. I'm gonna find a theme that it fits into one of these days. Don't you worry, but oh, I just love the way it smells. It's so good. It's like a good fizzy scent. So I really enjoy this. Where would I melt this? I have no clue. Probably just in the kitchen because it smells good. 
but love that one. And then the other one I got is zucchini bread, Santa's on keto and lemon pound cake, which to be completely honest with you, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Lemon is such an overpowering scent that I feel like this lemon pound cake really takes over and I can't quite smell the zucchini bread. I don't remember what the Santa Zonquito like notes were. I mean, it smells great. I love lemon pound cake. It smells amazing, but um, I really like this one. It's really nice. And then I got three of these like fluted tarts, which are nice. Originally, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna put one in my melter, but I think I might either cut this in fourths or just, actually, I'll probably just do it in half. And then you get eight uses, which is pretty nice. So this is in salty sea air, watermelon, and green apple. And they're kind of like, the bags are low-key a mess. One, because I've been pulling them in and out to smell them constantly. And two, because the day that they were delivered, it was like 80, 90 degrees out, and it was hot, 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 hot. So anyway, salty sea air, watermelon, and green apple. Wow. So I don't smell the salty sea air, but the watermelon and green apple mix is just out of this world. It's just, wow, so good. Love this. Would I buy this in a big, big loaf, a big tin? Possibly. It smells really great. I really like that one. I'm saving my favorite for last. <laughs> okay. Next one I had to get. It's called Main Street. It's Dole Whip and Cotton Candy Craze. I love Dole Whip. It's, oh, I'm getting a Dole Whip tattoo. I really am. I'm obsessed with Dole Whip. It is just the, my favorite thing on this planet. Um, super bright, bright, pretty yellow color. I don't smell the cotton candy, but the Dole Whip is so stinking prominent. I am not mad about it. I love the way pineapple smells. This is amazing. I love food smells if you haven't ever been able to tell. And then last but not least, I would literally buy 10 of these in the big loaves. This smells absolutely amazing so this is cinnamon sugar coffee house sugar cookie royale i just i can't even open it yet i'm just too excited too excited holy shit this smells so good so like the coffee is definitely the most overpowering note it's such a good coffee scent but then you get that hint of cinnamon and you can totally smell like the sugar cookie this one just hits on every single level. I ugh, I was waiting for this pop-up for her to have this in like a big loaf so I could buy. I wasn't gonna buy 10, I was gonna buy maybe two, but like, ugh, smells so stinking good. So L3, I'm like real stoked on L3. I'm like, ugh, Hannah and everybody else that I've been watching, y'all have sold me. So anyway, that is it for my order from L3 Waxy Wonders, and that is actually it for this haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry if you're not into wax, but you still stuck around. Like, let me know in the comments if you still stuck around, because like, you're the MVP. I really appreciate that. But I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. I hope you're um, excited for like, regular monthly hauls again because i feel like that's what i have been doing but i haven't really been titling it monthly hauls but you know how it is but i hope you guys enjoy go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys